Well, round one has commenced here in Rotterdam. It's the PartyPoker.net World Cup of Pool. Phil, you enjoying it? Tremendous national pride, international competition. Teams here from China to Croatia, from Spain to Singapore. Jim, it's pool, but not as we know it. Rotterdam is turning into the world capital of pool upsets. The bustling Dutch city is hosting the World Cup of Pool. Last time out, number four seeds Germany took on Singapore. The Singapore team cashing in on errors from the German duo of Reimering and former world champion Oliver Ortmann. The Germans reached the semi-finals last year, but Singapore produced the biggest upset in World Cup history. the biggest upset of this year's event. There's the top half of the draw now completed for round two with Singapore set to face Austria, but they weren't the only giant killers. Croatia ousted Russia, France ditched Italy, Japan hammered Spain. Expect the unexpected in this year's event. In the bottom half of the draw, Canada threw, but Korea the surprise package, eliminating the heavily fancied pair from Vietnam. But up next, it's Taiwan seeded three against Denmark. Let's find out more about the players involved. For Taiwan, Chinese Taipei, Yang Ching-shun is from Kaohsiung, and Wu Chia-ching is from Taishan. We met each other in the, in the pool club, and we are playing in the same club, so uh, and we have traveled together, so we know each other pretty good. This is our first time as, as double partners. We've never tried this kind of tournaments before, but uh, I think it will be pretty fun. We are here to learn, but uh, of course we're not here just only have fun. We both do our best, so uh, we won't uh, be angry at each other if it don't work out. Compared to other teams, we're probably, uh, because it's the first time we play a little bit different. But uh, yeah, we will play our game and could be aggressive, I think. We will try to go for the balls. Representing Team Denmark, Bakram Lotfi is from Hela, and Kasper Christoffersen hails from Hivdovre. It's a tall order, it's fair to say, but we've seen a couple tall orders already here in the opening round. And none taller than the task facing Denmark right now. Wu Cha Ting, the former WPA eight ball and nine ball champion on the right, and the son of pool, Yang Chin Sheng. Two monsters in the game of nine ball pool and at such tender ages. And that is what faces Denmark right now. Intimidation, yes, it's there. Self-belief has to be there, but they've got a lot of support. Kat, Neil Spahn's better half, she's Danish, and she's here to support her troops in the national color, red and white. Christofferson on the right, Yang on the left. Vitally important for Denmark to get off to a flyer here. It's a race to eight, that's a sprint in nine ball terms. Yang and Wu win the break. And the man they call Little Genius. Winner breaks. Chinese Taipei the break. Strides to the table. And if he hits this break anywhere near the force that he is capable of, you're in for a treat.
decimation. And four balls disappear. And how unlucky is Wu not to have left Yang a clear look at the one. You know, Wu has shed some 60 pounds since he won that world championship a couple of years ago. The pounds might have gone, but the power certainly hasn't. I'll never forget it, Phil. I was commentating in the final. He broke into tears as his grandmother came onto the stage with him. One of the sports most memorable moments. And so much has been expected of Yang, the man who just played that shot and left it for Latvi. And his best is yet to come, I feel. And they're smiling, the team from Chinese Taipei. And it'll be down to Denmark to wipe those smirks off their faces. Not just the national team, these two actually practice together and use the Copenhagen Pool House as their home club. Casper just eyeing up this straight two. All he had to guard against was drawing into that center pocket. slightly overdone that but not bad the natural angle brings the cue ball down towards the nine he's overhit this Again, the sort of shot that you'd like to bet he gets, but in the opening rack of the biggest team event in the world, very missable. Latvi gets it and establishes the first rack to Denmark. So many of their fellow competitors in the crowd taking a look at this match, which was expected to be one-sided. But nothing really working out to plan in this tournament of unpredict unpredictability. Good solid break from Latvi there. Willing that two to stop and it does not obey commands. <laughs> One more look. <laughs> Yes, the nine frustratingly intervening. <laughs> He's contemplating trying to flick that two in off that bottom cushion. He just wants the green light. Imran Majid on the right, Tony Drago in the middle, and Daryl Peach on the left. The back two make up England. Here in the World Cup, Tony Drago and his partner Alex Borg make up Malta's team. And another one, the Rocket Rodney Morris. His partner Corey Duell will be around. It actually looked like Corey right below him, just seeing the hairstyle. And the jump shot, trying to get this too. Never easy. When the ball's so close to the cushion, you've got to really play that with an amount of finesse. Start clock. And the first real opportunity is we see the foul again, and with ball in hand, the first real chance, Phil, if you haven't had an opportunity to see these two play, then you are in for a treat. They are poetry in motion. on the fact sheet that the 
Chinese Thai players filled in over breakfast this morning. Four very important words for Wu Cha Ching. Asked to describe himself, he says, Pool is my life. After he won the world championship in 2005, quickly bought his mother a condo back in Kaohsiung to thank her for her support in his upbringing. Yes, and talking of Kaohsiung, that's the hometown of his partner. Quickly, it seems, back on level terms, Jim. Yes. And maybe no way back for Denmark now. If they let the Chinese Taipei pairing get ahead of steam, few can live with them. Wu Chiaqing, age 18, already a world champion a couple of years ago. Won both the eight ball and the nine ball the same year. That was accomplished again by the reigning world nine ball champion, Elcano. But look at his resume at such a tender age. Yes, the youngest player ever to hold either title. And that record will take some wiping out of the books, Jim. He knocked out Thorsten Homan's title when he did that, Phil. but a testament to the prowess. Nice break, he got the one into the side, and he's nicely on the two, the three at his mercy over the bottom corner pocket. Yang Chin Chung has been many people's choice to win the world championship the last three or four years that we've seen it move to Asia. Semi-finalist in 02, quarter-finalist in 03. Last year, out in the last 32, beaten by Ralph Suke. choice here for Yang, does he want to drop below the four and play it to the top right corner or try and get above it? Back out into the middle of the table. The safety option would be to drop below it. And he's elected to try and get above it. That was a lot harder. Just adjusting his mic. If you hear the scratching noise, that'll be the cues. These guys get down right over the cue and sometimes that cue rubs right along the surface of our mics. These players are mic. It's tension cold. Wu Cha Ting, a thin cut on this four. The problem here is needs to avoid contacting the nine unless he wants to use it. And he did. But it's gonna take an equally good shot here from Yang. You see that nine invitingly placed over that corner pocket. But Yang has to get from the five back down for the seven. And the ever-present side pocket on the right-hand side factors into the equation here. He's really got to hit this suite. Sweet it was.
changing hands. But the normal result when it comes to Wu doesn't change. Could have been easier this. No danger. So much talent on display out there right now, and that's what Denmark has to contend with. Chinese Taipei now 2-1 in front. They drop the opener and quickly stamp their superiority on this six, one. Chinese Taipei to break, leading three racks to two. 12 months ago in the PartyPoker.net World Cup of Pool, Chinese Taipei reached the quarterfinals. Many think they could go on to win the whole shebang this time. Yes, it was a different pairing though. They went out to Germany in those quarterfinals, a 9-4 scoreline. But the son of pool, Yang Ching Shan, was partnered by Wang Hung Shuang. And I feel that Wu Cha Ching presents a much more formidable pairing. How's your, uh, how's your Taiwanese, Phil? Non-existent. I think he said... I think they're trying to figure out what table they're going to book for dinner. Obviously not trying to get too close, leaving the difficult three. But the one that should be the brickwork for victory here. Big shot. That's what you call confidence in your partner, Phil. Well, he's potted very well, hasn't he, Yang? And the more he pots, the more that self-belief will build. We've seen a lot of that, though, you know, during the course of this first round, players just marginally overscrewing. Clearly, it's a responsive cloth and a responsive cue ball. They'll just kill the speed here. Play this with slow bottom and check spin. Oh, he's decided to play it off the two cushions, a little riskier, but how about the result? Again, a sign to his partner that he's feeling it. left Yang another tester I think he'd like to have got that cue ball a little further down table should still get this the only thing that could possibly save the Danish the cue ball being glued to the cushion Seeds heavily fancied here in Rotterdam, leading Denmark 4 2. And Wu to break.
I'd take this man's break over just about anybody on the planet. He's got so much power, and look at how he plants that cue ball in the middle of the table. That is hours upon hours of practice, being able to crunch those colors and park Whitey in the middle. It could have been a straight in one ball. Just trying to duck over and behind. A five here it needs to be hit perfectly. And I'm not too sure it's there. It's very close. An anxious look from both sides by both players from Chinese Taipei and now both players from Denmark. This looks very close. You know, if he can see this, it might be worth having to go into the side pocket because even if he doesn't get it, and there's confirmation, he can just get through to this one. Why not have a go at it? Slow roll it. Even if you miss it, you've got the two as a blocker into the corner. I don't speak Danish, but I'm pretty sure that's what Casper just told him. Yes, they took the extension there. So now on their second portion of 40 seconds, this is an extremely acute angle. But as Jim said, there's an insurance policy at the end of it. Worth the risk, Phil. Well, I didn't expect him to shoot it at that speed. That had to go in at that speed. Nice yeah, shot from Bahram Latvi there. But Christofferson. It's a quintessentially Scandinavian name, isn't it? Great shot there from Casper. As sweet as a nut, he hit that one. Now back in prime position. They've got this rack by the throat. And there's no way they're going to let it go. New experience for both of these. Denmark weren't in the 32-man or 64-man 32 team World Cup of Pool in 2006. Massive occasion. Yes, he just wrong-sided him on the five there and was forced to play into the short pocket. The one furthest from the six. Just got to Guard against complacency, though. I doubt that will ever enter the equation here. Apologies in advance, Jim. But here in rack number seven, the Danes on the verge of bringing home the bacon. Punctuated with a thump nine into the heart of the pocket. Christofferson and Latvi, 4-3 down to the number three seeds here, but with a break to come in rack number eight. Denmark to break. Very relaxed in their chairs. 4-3, four. Four, they lead. Forced to watch Denmark break. To try and square accounts.
great cue ball from Hotley there. Yes, that wing ball to fly straight in. Now keep your eyes on this one ball. Trying to push it across the table with his cue. Well, I think he's done just enough. The two deposited on the break. If we had Neil's fans, better half, Cat, sat in the commentary box, she'd be able to tell us exactly what they're saying. Great player in her own right, Phil. Well, Denmark and the Netherlands A team are in different halves of the draw, so no possibility of a conflict in Kat's interest until at least the final. And that would be an unlikely final, I have to say. Holland A, one of the pre event favorites. Denmark, unseated. Stanton Cole. Using their extension, and that underlines the significance of this shot. A difficult prospect trying to knock this in and get back for the pink four next. He's actually overhit it. Pressurized pot coming up for Christofferson. Now, did he use the five as a blocker? Very close. Lotfi over to have a look. And now it's Yang and Wu's turn. And I think he can just get through to this, but he's just going to have to slither it in and play the long five up to the top left corner. Extension call. Just heard them call for the extension. They understand the significance here. He's just got to try and flick this in, Phil, and just hold for the five top left. Now, this is a real tough shot that faces Wu, and he's got to take it on. But for the big shot on the big occasion, he'd be one of those players you'd nominate. Thank you. Wu Chi Ching. <laughs> Just completely mishit that. Much too thin. Yeah, it was far from easy, though, in your defense, Phil. I totally agreed with what you said. He'd be my man for the big occasion when you need a big shot. But Is that bound? Yeah, the cows. Team play always brings yeah, a different dimension yeah, into the world of pool. Unless you've experienced it, and I have played, represented Canada in the World Cup of Snooker, I can tell you it's a pressure like no other. If the old memory serves me correct, Jim, that was in Thailand in 96. Didn't you get to the quarterfinals? Well, they 
have no more extensions, so they've got to get on with it. They can't afford to take too long. They were down below five seconds when that last shot was played. Tell you what I do remember about that World Cup in Thailand. Good job none of you were ill because your reserve arrived after you'd been knocked out. Good point, Phil, because uh, just looking around here, I don't know whether any of these teams have reserves should something happen. of them had problems getting their passports in order and those teams were duly replaced. Well Chinese Taipei have played a pretty neat rack. And they're back to do a two rack lead 5-3 and again secure the break and maintain momentum. Nine, Chinese Taipei to break. Leading five racks to three. The defending champions, the Philippines, are through to the last 16. Everyone expects Chinese Taipei to join them there. But this has been no pushover. Not by any stretch of the imagination. The cue ball kicked. Just slightly out of position. And I don't think that one passes. Wu is having a good look. Phil, I talked about teams in reserves. In fact, Malaysia was replaced by Belgium in this event. And I know there was a player from Austria that was replaced by Albin Ocean, Jasmine Ocean's younger brother. Oh, great shot. He only had half the pocket there. Now, precision required from the two to the three. You can see the gap. And he's overhit it. And he knew it as soon as he hit it. Too much adrenaline in that back arm on that shot. He had about a 12 inch gap that he had to negotiate. But you can see they're laughing about it. And you know what that does? It removes the pressure. Forgive and forget. And one of the best with the jump cue, from my experience, will dig his partner out of the mud. That famous horse race in England, the Grand National. It's all about steeple chasing. This tournament is the Grand International, and that was a grand shot, also a steeplechase. He really is tremendous, Wu. He's got so many weapons in his arsenal. <laughs> Just thumping that in and pinching a bit of the pocket. Those are real demoralizing shots when your opposition plays a very lax positional shot. His partner comes up and plays a shot that we've just seen the like of from Wu. Just start to half get out of your chair and all of a sudden you sink back into it. Yes, and class beginning to tell. And in a big way, Phil, 6-3, the son of Poole and the little genius in command here in Rotterdam. Into rack 10 then with Taiwan at the table. You really can't see Denmark taking this shot. I think Yang's going to be coming back to the table. But they're worried. What did Yang see that they don't? 
That, I think, is the essential ingredient that makes the push-out such an interesting ploy. Uh, it really is a psychological issue. All I can see is just trying to bump the one down to the bottom end of the table and duck in behind these colors. I mean, that side pocket certainly dictates how this shot can be played and must be played. Well, here we go. You can color me surprised, but I like seeing a brave shot like this. You know, now looking at it, I wonder if he can hit half ball here, side cushion, side cushion with the one. Just seeing it from that camera angle again, Phil, there might be another option here. Half ball hit and just swing the cue ball wide of the bottom corner. A little bit of left hand spin into the cue ball as you look. Either proposition, very tough. I'm, I'm still surprised he's taken this. And with the configuration of the, of the balls on the table, one mistake could be lethal. Just too difficult. Obviously, they were so wary of what the, the Asian pair had in their minds that they didn't want to risk it. That's a bad shot from Wu. Very bad shot from Wu. Heavy handed, clumsy, call it what you will. Not what you expect. Still smiling. I think they're a little out of embarrassment. There's Latvi covered that one. One thing for certain, he's just bumped the two, the blue two into the open. I think you're gonna see Yang get his jump cue out. And he's just gotta go over the edge of this. Tension cold. But he's very close to that two. Massive height on the Q arm elbow. And that was just perfect. Wu is smiling. That was pure magic. That was almost like anything you can do, I can do better. That really was a fantastic shot from Yang. World class, champion caliber. few early hiccups in this match. And once that was forgotten, they've hit another gear, and a gear that I fear Denmark can't match. And now they arrive on the hill, 7-3. Chinese Taipei in front of Denmark. The number three seeds will break for the match. <laughs> okay.
happy and why not? Content with the way things are going. And Yang is very content with his 2007 season. In the Asian Tour, he's been fantastic. When the Kaohsiung leg beat Fong Pang Chao in the final, also won in Singapore and Shanghai, there beating the world 11, champion Ronnie Alcano 12-10 in the final. Seven racks to three. A mark of his class. Quite possibly the beginning of the end of the Denmark's run in the 2007 PartyPoker.net World Cup of Pool because Wu is a clear look at this one and everything is in the open. Yes, Denmark's first appearance in this tournament and a baptism of fire back over near where he's standing off one cushion now it's all about where that five is it doesn't look like it's available to the side pocket so it's going to have to be played to the bottom right as we look you can't get above it We'll just try and thump this in and force the cue ball into the top cushion. That's all he could do. Plenty of angle now. This is the ball. This is match ball right here. If he gets this, Denmark can start unscrewing their cues. Yes, it's now ominous. More than. I've already marked my scorecard, Phil. And this will be surely six Asian teams through to the last 16. They are so dominant. And Wu and Yang complete a victory that was expected. The early going offered a possibility for Denmark, but it didn't materialize. 8-3, they're through to round two. In the bottom half of the draw then, only three of the eight matches played so far, but Korea creating the upset there, putting out the number six seeds, Vietnam. They now face Canada. The number three seeds, Taiwan, looking good. In the first round in the top half of the draw, all those matches are complete. Only half the expected seeds are through, though, to round two. The Philippines, China, Holland A, and Austria. The others are all giant killers. Croatia, France, Japan, and Singapore. Next up, old rivalries are renewed as Holland B face Belgium. Neighbors, old friends, fierce rivals, not one to miss. So join us again for the PartyPoker.net World Cup of Pool 2007.